So there's this psychology study that you have probably heard of. It is likely to have personally impacted your life. And I'm going to tell you why we should seriously be doubting the results. I will give you three reasons to throw these findings out the window. And by the time you hear the third reason, you will never look at that study the same again. It's called the Stanford Marshmallow Study. Sounding familiar? Quick recap, researchers at Stanford get these little kids together and they put them in a room with a marshmallow. And they say you can either have one marshmallow now or if you wait, if you delay gratification, then you can have two marshmallows later. Then they follow up with this group of kids as adults. The results are one marshmallow now kids not doing so well, two marshmallows later kids are doing so great, way more successful at life. Man, it's so windy, can you hear me? Not really, seeking shelter. Ah, the great indoors. Number one, we need to seriously question how they are defining success. So often success is defined by what is good for corporations and what is good for the status quo of society. Clock in, clock out, be quiet, spend money. Making more money was one of these measures and things like social skills. And so often what is rated good socially is so often just conforming and not being challenging for other people. Or they were successful because they dealt with stress better, which is oftentimes about internalizing your stress so it's not inconvenient for other people and not trying to actually change your circumstances so that they're better. Number two, you have to look at how these principles play out in real life. We've coached over 9,000 clients and here's what we found. Delayed gratification, this ideal that we oftentimes praise, plays out in beliefs like, I will take care of myself once everyone else is taken care of, or I won't invest in myself until all of these other things are really secure, or putting off our authenticity or finding our purpose because as soon as I check off all these boxes of what I should be doing in life, then I will do what I really want to do. Literally putting off the things that are best in life that make us feel alive because what we actually want gets pushed down the road because we're putting everyone else Else's needs first. And because we're not feeling gratified in the things that really matter, we start sneaking things that help us to feel gratified today. I've had a long day, I deserve dessert, or I'm just gonna scroll here for a while because I'm exhausted. And we think of it as delayed gratification because we're putting off the big things of how we actually want to live and just putting a band-aid on our gratification for today to get through all the small things of like, I've gotta work before I can get my reward. I've gotta be miserable for a while so I can be happy later. And guess what? It doesn't result in happiness. In fact, when you are putting yourself first and giving you the things that you want today, investing in yourself today, not waiting to take the trip or to travel or to be in your authenticity or to seek out your purpose, what you really want to do in life. When you start doing that stuff now, you start being happy now and you leave behind all those unhealthy sort of sneaky behaviors of, well, I just need a little bit of this to get through my misery until I can do what I actually want to do. And now, reason number three. The marshmallow study has been totally debunked. Yeah, like it's not true. This is a huge problem with studies that get popular, is they get popular and then everyone believes that that is a studied and true thing. And then the follow-up studies that prove it absolutely untrue don't get as popular. So in our society, we still believe in popular culture of like, oh yeah, like this is a true thing when it's just not. That was just the more popular thing. It's super easy to find all the studies that have debunked this. But here's one, that marshmallow study didn't account for things like family background. It didn't have to do with delayed gratification. It had to do with these other variables. And when they corrected for that, the findings disappeared, as in they found it just wasn't true. You don't measure more successful in life because you waited for the two marshmallows. You're more successful in life because your parents went to Stanford University. Look, I'm not saying that we should immediately pounce on any of our cravings or whims. What I am saying is that we have found that when we delay the things that really matter to us, the things that create meaning and purpose in our individual lives and health and development and happiness, it creates cravings for things that are unhealthy for us. So how can you give yourself something that matters right now today? Take the time off, invest in yourself, have fun, allow yourself to be happy. Say the thing that you want to say. Step into your authentic self. Because if you keep on delaying what actually matters, you run out of time. This is so magical. I'm literally being showered by rose petals. Look at this rose arch. Ah!